Yo, what is going on with you guys? Welcome to episode, what is this, 27? Is that right? 27, wow, of David Craft. As you guys can see here, I'm going to, well, actually, I'm not going to, I already did, finished a new sorting system here for the other side. So we've got cobblestone, we've got regular stone, diorite everything kind of sorted up here and then here's where just kind of like all the random stuff is gonna go Wait. oh okay there's still oh, there's a lot but there's still stuff going in so i can just put up a yeah the shulker box here and mackerel was actually working on his very own or actually his new base, I should say. So I'm going to go see if he needs some help. So let's ho head over there. So as I was going to try to find where Mackerel's new base is, I find he built this tower, I think, of, of cobblestone here. I'm still trying to get to his base because I don't know... I don't know where he is, and I'm trying to get him to tell me. Hmm... Oops, wrong button. He should be telling me the coordinates here. Mm, I still don't know where he is. But I'm going to collect these flowers. Whoa. Because... I have a plan to make one of those flower machines so at least we can get some dyes. But I don't see where he is. Where is he? Hmm. Wonder if his house is that mushroom. Or he went somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, he doesn't remember. Uh-oh. All right. We're going to have to figure this out. So <laughs> when we get there, we'll try to make a way. And I'll see you guys when we get there. All right. Found mackerel. <laughs> and I guess we're going to try going to his new base. I don't know where it is. And I hope he remembers. I think it's back here by this area. No, oh, no. Oh, that wasn't good. Here. Where? Ah, it's hidden. Oh! It's all blue. It's all blue. I wonder why he didn't make these doors blue. I guess it would have thrown off that it was here. Ooh. <laughs> but then this door oh wait what's is there anything in front oh just that so he's got the basics of this house built here yeah but I don't think he's got anything else going right now Oh. So where is your farm? Okay, so He's going to make one. Okay. He 
He's got to go back to the mall, he said, which... Yeah, it's back here. So he's moved kind of close to the area, which isn't bad. Aha, the slime is still there. I'm going to give him a poppy. He's got a lot to learn still. He's going to work on getting like a kelp farm and things like that. Stuff that is actually going to be really helpful for him. Because I think he might actually... I don't think he knows how to use the auto furnace. Hold on. Because you can use it more efficiently. I don't think he knew that. Oh, wait, three should have been there. There and there. Okay. Yep, he didn't know. It's okay. There's still lots of stuff to learn. Ooh. And we've got a lot of kelp here still. Which, I might have to bring a kelp farm over to my place. Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, we found his base and we're going to see what's going to happen next. Okay, so we're discussing different farms that he could make and you know there's many different kinds of farms you've got animal farms you've got food farms you've got ink farms you've got i mean mob farms there's everything and he is deciding to make what he said is a secret farm now a secret farm could be something hidden something that could just be growing out here who knows but we're trying to figure it out, so I'll get back to you guys. All right, so Macro's starting to make a a farm here. It's, it's going to be a secret farm. But he's going to need lots of... Or... Yeah, he's going to need lots of lights and stuff. Otherwise, he's going to have a lot of problems down here. Mm. And he could have done that better. But let's see. We need... For example, if he had... If he had a, what is it? Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Do, oh yeah, it's back here. Okay. If he had a like cobblestone and plenty of it, he could make a stair. And if he had the stair, I don't think he's got any equipment. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now this is the other issue. If you don't have the equipment, it's going to be really hard to make. So, there we go. Break the tree. And we're going to go down and make some tools. So, uh, here, okay. Let's grab all of the, ooh. All of those guys, we're going to need those and make a hoe. Uh, shoot. Okay, sure. Make a stair. 
Make another hoe. Okay. Because the better way would be to waterlog certain things. But if he's not going to worry about waterlogging it, I mean, there's a big chance he could just fall right into there. And you definitely don't want that. Because if you fall into it, I mean, you're going to break a lot of stuff in the farm. And he could probably fix it so he can get more. Give him that. And that. Yeah. And his farm is pretty much done now. Now, for us, at our base, uh, when we get back to it, certain things have changed. There's a... He's going to add more, I think. I don't know. That's all the potatoes he had? Okay, he's trying to get more seeds. And can we get more seeds? If so, how many more? Okay, so I guess we're going to fill the whole thing. And don't need too much more. And it's nighttime. Okay, done. Then I can throw those seeds away. And then what's next? So anyways, as we were talking about more about our farm, see things like this, you gotta make lots of planning. I got enough for one chest. There. There's your chest. If only it was thundering. Wait a minute, that's my good one. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what happened to the other one. I think it's in my end chest. Which, yeah, he doesn't have one yet. Okay. Not at this base. And... A very poor spot there because you can't get up to the door well. Okay. He went to bed and he sounded like he hurt himself. What happened? So now what? Okay, what's the next farm? Let's figure it out and I'll get you guys back. So now after Macro and I had a little fun and he had to go, we're going to head back to our base where we've got some things to take care of. Like the possibility of a few villagers coming over which is going to be really helpful, actually, if we can get it done. But not only that, if we can get villagers over, that means we may be able to colonize a new island like that guy or make something fresh from scratch that we could make our iron farm, which is desperately needed right now on the server. Hey, look, we got a chicken head. Cool. 
But before we do that, let's get in here. So we've got a new AFK fish farm set up here. So in this area, that means the Cactus XP farm is running. It means the mob farm over there is running, which also means that below here, the sugarcane farm, as well as the potato and pump, uh, not pumpkin, the potatoes and carrot farm is also running. And while those are running, that means this guy is constantly going as long as I'm here. But sometimes it's a pain to get out. I might have to make a launcher. If it'll actually let me out, if I can get back up to the top so I can close the doors. Okay. Nope, close. And as you can see, I've been building up here, trying to figure out how big do I want it to get. Because, you know, maybe even I'll put the villagers inside of here, which might actually make it even better. So, I'm not 100% sure yet. And we also made a few more doors, which I think I showed last time. So we've got to get the item frames on that side to show those. And I'm hoping, let's see. Cool, everything's done. And that'll go into this guy. Yes, okay. And yeah, I've got a lot of extra stuff I can just put in because I'm not gonna need it at the moment. Chicken head can go somewhere else. And I've been putting all the extra shelter boxes, which I've got quite a few now, in there. And I'm gonna put the chicken head inside. Now there's a benefit to the fish farm, which is getting all of these fish heads. It's a really good benefit to it because there's so many. Okay, anyways. I know there's a village to the north side of me, behind the farm. So I'm gonna figure out a new place so I can start getting villagers in. So I'll see you guys when I get that set up. Okay, so as I'm sitting here trying to figure out where would be the best place for this, it's really a tough decision. I want it close to this area. I don't want it too close to the mob farm because it will, it might mess with the numbers of mobs that spawn. I'm almost tempted to just do some terraforming over here and put it over here, or even just kind of keep it right here on this side where it's close enough to the base, it still loads in this chunk and it'll still work. But first and foremost, I've got to get the villagers over here and I gotta figure out a way that I can make sure it's actually functioning. So I'm gonna do a little bit of terraforming here to try to make it easier to get everything up here but it's gonna have to be big enough and I guess work well enough that it actually does start producing. So I'm gonna figure this out and I'll see you guys when I get back. Okay, so it's almost, we've almost got the one villager here. Uh, I can show you here. I'm hoping he didn't die yet. Because there's a lot of bad things coming out. Like the spider. I couldn't do it air by. Hey, hey, no, okay. So I'm kind of working on the last leg. Getting him like past this water here. Now, of course, I could have just filled the hole in. But... I mean, there's still a long ways to go. We're almost there. And he should still be right there. Right? Okay, good. He's still safe. Now, we did get a nitwit, which isn't bad. Uh -huh. 
Oh, he got stuck. Not good. I guess I needed more power reel there. Oh, oh, that's why. It didn't actually get powered all the way. There we go. Oh, that was definitely a mistake. Anyways, so... As we are continuing to get closer and closer to one villager. I gotta be careful because I don't want to break these holes either. Uh, like that. Because my pickaxe is definitely oh, wrong one. OP at the moment. But he's exactly where I want him to be. And... That means we are that much closer to getting him there. So I think this will be the last trip and we should actually finally be able to get him there. So we need at least that one and we'll go like so. And again, it's just getting him straight over there which shouldn't be too far now I think yeah it shouldn't be too far Yeah, it's right over there. Okay. So maybe I'll take it slow this time. I'll just go up to here, get him up here, collect it, and go. Really, after I get this guy in, I can start getting, like, I think two more at least. And then after I've got those two, they should be able to farm everything. And I know there were some brown coats that I can take. I don't think there was a farmer, sadly, which would have been the best option. But it should be close enough for where I'm going to need it. So I should be good to go. Now, I do have to be careful here, planning-wise. Because I could technically... Let's see, I could go like this, and this way, he'll get momentum going down, and down, but here, I'm going to need a lot of momentum getting him up. And, all right, here we go. We're almost, almost. That's all 64, really? Wow, I did not thought, did not think I used that much. Oh, that's not good. That could have been really bad, actually. Yeah. All right. Well, he's almost there. Again, almost. Now, of course, after I get him in, I think I'm going to get the other two in by off camera because this is taking a really long time. It's luckily I didn't show you guys from the start, but man, it's busy work getting them in. 
I'm sure you guys know. You probably transported a, you know, a villager or two in your day. I think it definitely would have been easier just to find a zombie villager and just change him over. And I think I should be able to just push him in from here. Oh. Yeah, go. Go in. In, I say. And we have success. Perfect. Now, I put water in here, but I'm not sure. Oh, it was just to protect him, yeah. So, he should be okay now. And once I get these guys in to protect from falling stuff, there we go. It should be good to go to get other villagers in. So I'm going to get those guys in, and I will see you guys here once we have that done all right guys so i was able to get it working so my design luckily did work and i sadly lost some villagers but i did get the villager head but look at that there's four of them there and there's a little baby which is good and then we've got the one down here so what I can do when I go AFK now, I can actually just kind of chill out here, have this guy running. That's always going to be running now. And then when I get enough, eventually I could move them over to find something new. So I think that's going to be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do. And then I will see you guys next time for the next episode. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.